study this equation a moment and let's decide how to solve it for y. If you want to go through those steps, we have no fractions, so we will not multiply through by an LCD. We do have parentheses, which you can handle in one of two ways. Inside, these just happen to be like terms, so you could go ahead and add these. That would be 4y, and this is the opposite of 4y. If you happened not to notice, you're still okay by using the distributive property. Now let's work on the left side. I do have 5y plus 1y. I'll go ahead and write that as 6y minus 7 is equal to, that's minus 1y minus 3y, and the same thing happens anyway. So I'll have 6y minus 7 is equal to negative 4y. No fractions, no parentheses, nothing that can be simplified on either side of the equation. Notice I have a variable term here, number, variable term. Let's subtract 6y from both sides so that I'll have all my variable terms on one side. So I'll write down the left side, and then I'll subtract 6y. I'll write down the right side and subtract 6y. What happens on the left side? The 6y subtract out, and I have, be careful, it's negative 7 is equal to negative 4y minus 6y. That's negative 10y. How do I finish solving? I'll divide both sides by the coefficient of y, which is negative 10. So here's my equation again. I'll divide the right side by negative 10. I'll divide the left side by negative 10. And notice what we have. On the right side, we have y. On the left side, a negative divided by a negative is a positive, so we have 7 tenths. And that is my solution for y.